What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, back to another video, and in today's video, um, like I told you guys, we really want to get this thing cleaned up inside out, I am so stoked to finally get it all cleaned up, you guys know, every time I get it back from the body shop, it is a little bit dirty, but obviously the rest of the car is dirty, we have some freshly new painted panels, now you guys said in the last video, all over the comments, hey, take the car back to them, have them fix the imperfections, I've already spoken to my boy Jose, and the good thing is, is they can actually fix the front bumper, fix the rear bumper for the most part, you know, at least get all that orange peel off, I don't know why I always say fish eye it's orange peel um, so for those of you guys who are laughing at me uh, again like I'm just I'm just a regular dude that you know messes up his terminology and, and just embarrasses himself live like I, I don't know you know it is what it is like for those of you guys who are scared to start YouTube channels because of like yo you're scared of what people will say about you like just end of the day realize that we're all human and we all make mistakes and it's whatever but yeah I mean Jose's my man he's gonna be helping me polish and buff the front bumper and the rear bumper and then we're gonna probably end up polishing the rest of the car because the paint on the rest of the car is in really good shape so Probably polish the rest of the car, buff and polish the front and rear bumpers. Now, as far as the headlights, I think those can get fixed as long as we kind of like sand it down or refinish it. It just kind of sucks for brand new headlight lenses. Um, we have to even do that. But end of the day, guys, a lot of you guys told me to take the car back. The thing is, if I take the car back, it's going to be at the shop for another two weeks probably because honestly, he's very booked out. And I won't be able to film with this car. I won't be able to daily drive this car anymore. So it's just not going to work for me. Now, if I wasn't a YouTuber and I didn't need my car every single day, I, I would have definitely dropped it off uh, but since I do need it every single day and since I run so many errands on my daily basis I really need my 328i my reliable um, cheap fuel economy vehicle in my life I read so many of you guys' comments you guys are totally right all of you guys are right um, just end of the day for me it's just not gonna work out uh, for me I'd rather keep the car um, I'd rather probably end up filming the buff and polish for rear and front some of you guys are even telling me to do it myself the thing is I don't know the layers of clear coat I don't know how all this stuff works I could mess up the front bumper I could mess up the rear bumper and then no matter what I'll end up having to take this car back to the shop for another two weeks So if anything, I'm gonna talk to Jose and see if he's okay with me filming him at least start the bumper and at least start the rear and kind of get an idea because for him he spends about 20 hours on my car so he spends a lot of time there and uh, obviously if I'm filming and I'm being with him it's gonna take even more of his time and obviously this man's gonna make his living let's go ahead and just get her cleaned up because we have some modifications for this car that I'm so stoked to install vacuum it all out clean up that interior and start installing some interior modifications and these interior modifications are so 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 nice I've owned a couple e90s in my life and I never actually put myself to actually buy those BMW modifications just because they're so expensive from BMW and nobody sells them used like there's nobody that honestly I don't think anybody really buys this modification so there's no one in the used market um, that has it. so that being said let's go ahead and get the super outside and get the e92 in the garage let's give it a new interior gonna lie guys it does look a lot better in the light and all cleaned up now before I get a bunch of comments in today's video saying hey you are what's going on with your grass bro do you not care about your grass man um first off that's not lawn that's not grass that is all weeds like uh yeah it's some serious stuff there I don't know why when we bought the house for the first like two months nothing grew and then out of nowhere they grow so quickly because I've been mowing them on like every other week this is the week I'm supposed to mow it because I've been doing it like every two weeks and look how crazy it got so um if I have a little bit of time at the end of this video I might even just go mow the lawn <laughs> So if you guys want to see some satisfying results, stay tuned to the end of the video. Um, I don't know why so many people are hitting up in the comments like, Nor, you need to mow your lawn, bro. And like, I know, man. I'm trying. It's just those weeds are, are defeating me. Now, on a 
related note to this video, uh, you guys can see the interior. It is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my God, guys. Every time I look at this interior, I absolutely love it. But this is absolutely filthy. So um, that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and clean out a couple things there. We need to clean up as much things as this as possible. Clean up the carpets again, vacuum it all out, wipe everything down, and then we can install some interior modifications. That is what I'm stoked about. And about, yeah, I'd say about 20 minutes later, guys, this interior is looking a lot better. This steering wheel, unfortunately, is not aging too well. So uh, first off, another thing that's at the body shop I noticed, um, I can't get that off without scrubbing on it too hard, and that probably is gonna end up damaging the leather. Um, I scrubbed it off really hard on the top, and you guys can see a little bit of color distortion on the steering wheel, so um, that really sucks. But there was some on the top, there's some on the bottom. Honestly, I'm gonna try to figure out another way to get that off, but I use quick detailer. Uh, probably needs some kind of like degreaser. I don't know what you would use for something like this without actually damaging the steering wheel because this is very delicate uh, these kinds of steering wheels are very very delicate as you guys can see the previous owner kind of like I don't know how you would do this honestly but but yeah I mean we got this steering wheel for like $300 this trim piece alone is like $200 so that's a really good deal it's in brand new condition like literally not even a single chip off of it and then obviously we got the paddles as well these paddles are like two to three hundred dollars used um, so those alone is the primary reason I ended up getting this steering wheel this steering wheel I'm sure I can still make about 150 bucks when it comes time to sell it but ultimately I think I'm gonna try to upgrade to the Aza steering wheel pretty soon but honestly guys if you guys want to support your boy this is completely for free I'm gonna have Ozza's most recent Instagram post linked down below please click on that post and comment exactly this Ozify Norris E92 uh, let's see if they hit me up and they send something out for the E92 because that would be so 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 sick I mean the only thing that's imperfect this entire interior is this shift knob I don't know if you guys can see it's kind of like crinkled up and stuff it looks so terrible we ended up replacing this we replaced this we replaced this we honestly replaced everything the trim the seats the carpets everything we replaced I'm still waiting on trying to find some black headlines liner in this car would be super nice but as a perfectionist this is not perfect by all means now there's two ways to actually repair the steering wheel though you could end up sanding it down and then putting on some new paint on there some new leather dye or whatever um honestly i'm not a huge fan of doing that kind of stuff to oem stuff and honestly i feel like it's already been done to the steering wheel before because i don't know if i show you guys the rag real quick but correct me if i'm wrong the black is not supposed to come off the steering wheel when you wipe it so i feel like it's already been done before on the steering wheel someone tried to restore it um but it's it's not restorable so again if you guys want to support your boys completely for free, check out Oz's post down below. Give him a follow and comment exactly this. But without further ado, let me show you guys the new modifications we have for the E92. So this right here, guys, is a M pedal. This is from an M Sport or an M3. My M3 actually has this one. My car actually does not have it at all because I had to break mines out. I had this, the regular one um, when I replaced the carpets. These, every time you pull them out, you break them. As you can see, the tabs on these ones are broken as well. So when we put it on there, it sits perfectly fine. But we're going to have to try to put some like double uh, double-sided tape on here to make sure it stays on there properly um, or you could probably even just try to glue it or something but I'm gonna put some double sided tape just in case I need to move these carpets again but yeah guys we finally have an M brake pedal that looks so 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 good I definitely need to clean that up as well hold on three two one and that's what I'm talking about boys all right without further ado this is not sticking on there but three two one and just like that guys the M pedal is in there just with some double-sided tape so that is an easy win right there now the next thing I want to install is a brand new shift knob an M performance shift knob from BMW now there are some aftermarket ones um, but I don't know guys I really want to install an M performance one so I did what any logical person would do and go uh, to BMW and buy an M performance modification uh, this was a lot of money over a hundred dollars but uh, guys check out how gorgeous this thing looks so yeah it's gonna be super easy to install it's gonna make a big Big difference in the interior so let's remove the old one so that's one of the main reasons I'm actually replacing it it looks really bad up here plus this is like your typical shift knob so I mean guys look how easy it is to remove it you just every time I say like look how <laughs> so easy, easy it is over the ah! Oh, that was well, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to pop these up too. No, no, no. If you actually pull towards drive and pull towards you, it's way easier. Because I don't want you running into your house. Right? <laughs> no, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> so I know what we do is I put the car in accessory, I pull it to drive, and then you pull up on it. So there we go. You get that. You get a, a better angle yeah. at it. Uh, anyway, so that's out with the old. Look at just look at that, bro. I'll hold it so you can compare it, bro. Look at this. This looks like like an M3 version. And this is an M bro. Performance OEM shift knob. They should have offered this on some of their E90s, bro. I've never seen this. Like this is only like if you buy it like third, like how do you explain it? You can't buy it with the car from BMW. You have to like buy it separately from the parts department. That's crazy. Yeah, so anywho, putting it right on here. Bro. That looks so good. Bro, and it feels so good, dude. 
Bro, what the heck? Look at this garbage chrome. Bro, that's oh, a difference. Man. Look right here, you can see that a lot. Yeah, so you know you know you do stuff like this, bro? Throw it away. Uh, uh, bro, you could have sold that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, they go for like 10 bucks on eBay. Oh, never mind. In pretty good shape, yeah. Nah, this is, this is like, oh, this is just so nice, dude. Oh my god, it's so nice. I didn't even want to put my dirty hands on it just because it's Alcantara over here. But like, oh, now I have to replace the center trim. I want to do the same thing. Jonathan's actually upgrading his. It's like an M3 one, right? Yeah, from my 335. So I need to get like an M3 one or something here because we have the M3 um, bamboo trim. This is the only thing that's not uh, replaced yet because it has an iDrive controller. Um, it has like, I need to get a manual one, you know? Um, and even yeah. then, bro, I think all of them have the button cutouts. They do. So you'd have to get like you have to get the, the buttons. power button. So I'm not really too sure. I might just try to get the one like this third party, like carbon fiber. I think it'd be sick. Maybe. But this for now is not too shabby, right? So, yeah. I mean, sheesh, guys. <laughs> Again, if you guys want this thing, it's from BMW. You guys saw the product number. Oh, bro, it feels so nice. <laughs> I'm so happy with that. So the last thing I wanna go ahead and do, guys, is actually test out that speaker over there. So for the longest time, ever since I put in this M3 interior, I replaced it with the uh, the speakers from the M3, and all the speakers work other than that passenger side. I don't know if something happened with the wiring, I don't know if it's just that speaker, but that speaker's not even giving power up to the tweeter on that other side. So uh, I picked this up from uh, Pick and Pull. I mean, just this typical yeah. you know E90 speaker. I'm hoping this will at least get some kind of power over there. If we're not having any power over there, what I'm starting to think is possibly I have too many speakers plugged in because it's um, a smaller amp. Yeah, it's, it's uh this actually has no amp. This is like below the hi-fi. How do you get below the hi-fi? If you look back there, bro, oh. on that side, it's a storage compartment. Oh, there is an, <laughs> it's, it's literally just wires, bro. What the? Yeah, so this is like the base base sound system. So the fact that I have the rear, because the rear door cards come with the tweeters and the speakers from an M3. Same goes with the front. So I actually upgraded it, put in tweeters as well. This car didn't have tweeters. Um, so I think Dang. maybe I'm drawing too much power. Yeah, definitely. Um, and that's what I'm probably going to end up believing if this speaker doesn't work. So without further ado, let's go ahead and remove that door uh, panel and install this bad boy. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead, turn on the music on this car, uh, play ed ep epidemic sounds. You know, we're not trying to get them copyright strikes. Uh, but then at least you guys will be able to hear me try to test this thing out. This one sounds blown. That one's blown too. Guys, this one just blew. <laughs> this was working just fine yesterday. But I've been I've been turning this up so loud because that one's not working, so I've been trying to compensate, and this one just blew out. <laughs> hey, as it long is, as this is. one works, we at least know what the what the issue Here, let's is. Plug so. it in right now. Which one Fingers is it? crossed, guys. Moment of truth, guys. Dang, what's going Did on? Did you plug it in all the oh, way? No, I didn't no. plug it in. Dang. It's not working? Not working. So it's not the speakers, guys. It must be either too much power or something's being drawn to the rest of the sound system. Dang, that sucks, dude. Because there's no way the wiring is shot. This is, this is the original door. All right, that's good. Now let's go ahead and take off these, uh, the rest of them. The rear ones. Man, I was really hoping that would work, bro. It is what it's it is. It's all good. I mean, that's the thing. You can't just cheat life. Like, if you don't have an amp, you can't just you can't imagine just... you have an amp, yeah. you know? I was upgrading my whole sound system from, from no amp to M3 sound system. Yeah, that's gonna, you're gonna need an amp for that yeah. bad boy. <laughs> Guys, moment of truth. We just unplugged all the tweeters. Hopefully it works now. <laughs> oh man, please. Oh, I really just want to hear a sound come out of that door, bro. Am I asking too much, dude? Oh, nothing, right? But now that one's working. It sounds so much more clear. So maybe it was the speaker. I think you probably need to get like a Harman Kardon one. This is way more clear now. It is way clearer though. Oh. Cause I was upset because this one has hi fi. I was like, dang, at bro, this one has hi fi. At least you have some amps. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh. 
I've never seen that in my deep life. Deep storage, bro. bro. I've never literally seen that in my life. So would you rather have deep storage or a decent sound system? Decent sound system <laughs> any day of the week, bro. What the? Yeah, but that thing was pretty clapped, I'm not gonna lie. And guys, we are at the end of the video. Unfortunately, that did not work. I'm gonna have to do a lot of research on that. And unfortunately, I'm not mowing the, the weeds right now. That's not happening. I'm trying to get this video out to you guys by 3 p.m. Every single day this week, I've been trying to record before 3. I wake up early, try to get the video done by 3, and then get some rest because I am fasting. It's the time of the, the year, honestly. Uh, this month is a fasting month, so um, yes. I'm gonna get this video out to you guys right now. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button. Also, let me know, do you think that shift knob is a little overpriced or do you think it's kind of worth it for over $100? A little over 100 bucks, but I think it's super sick. But without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humbassi on the next one. Peace out.